चैप्टर टू द इनविजिबल लिविंग वर्ल्ड बियॉन्ड आवर नेकेड आई क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम ग्रेड एट सब्जेक्ट साइंस बुक क्यूरियोसिटी कीप द क्यूरियोसिटी अलाइव क्वेश्चन वन वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ अ सेल आर गिवन बिलो राइट देम इन द अप्रोप्रिएट प्लेसेज इन द फॉलोइंग डायग्राम आंसर ओनली इन एनिमल सेल नन ऑफ द गिवन ऑप्शन ओनली इन प्लांट सेल क्लोरोप्लास्ट only in bacterial cell nucleoid common to all three cytoplasm cell membrane cell wall question 2 anandi took two test tubes and marked them a and b she put two spoonfuls of sugar solution in each of the test tubes in test tube b she added a spoonful of yeast then she attached two incompletely inflated balloons to the mouth of each test tube she kept the setup in a warm place away from sunlight first what do you predict will happen after 3 to 4 days she observed that the balloon attached to test tube b was inflated what can be a possible explanation for this answer correct option c yeast produced a gas inside the test tube b which inflated the balloon that gas is carbon dioxide released during fermentation second she took another test tube one fourth filled with lime water she removed the balloon from test tube b in such a manner that the gas inside the balloon did not escape she attached the balloon to the test tube with lime water and shook it well what do you think she wants to find out answer by shaking the balloon's gas into lime water she wants to find out whether the gas is carbon dioxide lime water turns milky in the presence of co2 so friends co2 is carbon dioxide question 3 a farmer was planting wheat crops in his field he added nitrogen rich fertilizer to the soil to get a good yield of crops in the neighboring field another farmer was growing bean crops but she preferred not to add nitrogen fertilizer to get healthy crops can you think of the reasons answer the wheat farmer adds nitrogen rich fertilizer because wheat cannot fix nitrogen on its own the bean farmer does not need fertilizer because bean plants have rhizobium bacteria in their root nodules these bacteria fix nitrogen from the air into the soil making it available for the plants Question four: Snehal dug two pits A and B in her garden. In pit A, she put fruit and vegetable peels and mixed it with dried leaves. In pit B, she dumped the same kind of waste without mixing it with dried leaves. She covered both the pits with soil and observed after three weeks. What is she trying to test? Answer: She is trying to test the role of dried leaves. as a source of air spaces in compost formation pit a with dried leaves better decomposition and manure formation pit b without dried leaves decomposition is slower and less effective due to lack of aeration question 5 identify the following microorganisms first i live in every kind of environment and inside your gut answer bacteria live everywhere including our gut second i make bread and cakes soft and fluffy answer yeast makes bread and cakes soft and fluffy third i live in the roots of pulse crops and provide nutrients for their growth answer rhizobium bacteria live in root nodules of pulse crops and provide nutrients by nitrogen fixation question 6 Devise an experiment to test that microorganisms need optimal temperature, air, and moisture for their growth. Answer: Take three containers with moist cooked rice or bread. Keep one container open in a warm place with air and moisture. Keep the second container in an airtight jar, no air. Keep the third in a refrigerator, cold conditions. Observe after three to four days. fungus grows only in the warm moist and airy condition this proves microorganisms need proper temperature air and moisture to grow question 7 take two slices of bread place one slice in a plate near the sink 
Place the other slice in the refrigerator. Compare after three days. Note your observations. Give reasons for your observations. Answer: Bread slices observation. Bread slice near the sink. After three days, it develops green black fungal growth mold due to warmth and moisture. Bread slice in the refrigerator remains unchanged or shows very little fungal growth because low temperature slows down microbial activity. Question eight: A student observes that when curd is left out for a day, it becomes more sour. What can be two possible explanations for this observation? Answer: Two reasons. First, lactic acid bacteria, Lactobacillus, keep multiplying and producing more lactic acid. Second, warm temperature accelerates bacterial activity, increasing sourness. Question nine. Observe the setup given in Figure two point fifteen and answer the following questions. First, what happens to the sugar solution in flask A? So, friends, in flask A, warm sugar solution plus yeast is present, and in test tube B, lime water is present. Answer: In flask A, yeast ferments the sugar solution. Sugar gets converted into alcohol and CO2 gas. CO2 is carbon dioxide. Second, what do you observe in test tube B after four hours? Why do you think this happened? Answer: In test tube B, lime water turns milky after four hours because of CO2 produced by yeast. Third, what would happen if yeast was not added in flask A? Answer: If yeast was not added in flask A. Fermentation would not occur, so no CO2 would be formed and lime water would remain clear. Next, discover design and debate. First, India has a long history of biogas production. One of our oldest biogas plant was set up in late 1850s. Find out about the biogas program initiated by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, Government of India. Answer. The National Biogas Program, now part of the broader National Bioenergy Program, was launched by MNRE, formerly Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, to support the development of biogas plants across India. Its goals include promoting clean cooking fuel, generating small-scale power, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, improving sanitation, empowering women, and generating rural employment. This initiative spans from financial year 2021-22 to financial year 2025-26, with phase one allocated a budget of rupees 858 crore, including rupees 100 crore specifically for biogas plants. Small scale 1 to 25 meter cube per day and medium scale 25 to 2500 meter cube per day. The program also offers central financial assistance (CFA). Subsidies to developers of waste to energy projects, including bio CNG, enriched biogas, compressed biogas, and producer syngas generation. Under phase two, MNRE targets setting up over fifteen thousand small biogas plants in financial year twenty twenty three twenty four, along with installing more sanitary toilets connected to biogas systems. and expanding training programs for implementing agencies the program is aligned with india's commitment to achieving net zero emissions by 2070 and promotes a circular economy by converting waste into energy and organic manure however mnre also notes challenges such as financial viability technology adoption and raising public awareness in summary MNRE's biogas program sets up biogas plants with government support combining energy production waste management and rural development in one cohesive initiative under a phased plan with clear targets and funding second fermented food items like fermented soya beans and fermented bamboo shoots are consumed as traditional food in some parts of india with the help of your parents and teachers list some traditional food items from your area that utilize the process of fermentation investigate the ingredients used in the preparation of these fermented food items 
the method of preparing them, the microorganism responsible for the fermentation of the food, and the cultural and nutritional importance of the fermented food. Answer. You can explore traditional fermented foods from your region, Delhi or nearby. Common Indian examples include Dahi curd, fermented milk using lactobacillus species, Idli, dosa batter, fermented rice and urad dal batter using lactobacillus and wild yeast. Kechu, sun-dried bamboo shoots or soya-based products like dhokla or fermented soya preparations. For each item, investigate ingredients used, example rice, lentils, milk, preparation steps, example soaking, grinding, fermenting stages, the microorganisms responsible, example lactobacillus, yeast, rhizopus, cultural importance, festival food, daily staples, nutritional benefits, enhanced digestion, probiotics, increased nutrients, so friends, ask your parents or an elder about local favorites. They might mention fermented pickles, local batters or chutneys. Next, study the different parts of a macrofungus mushroom using a magnifying glass and microscope fold scope. Take the help of students from senior classes and explore the internal structure of different parts of mushrooms under the microscope fold scope in your school laboratory. Answer. Study of macrofungus mushroom. When you observe a mushroom macrofungus using a magnifying glass and microscope fold scope, here's what you will find. External parts seen with magnifying glass, cap, pileus, the umbrella shaped top part, gills, lamellae, thin blade like structures under the cap where spores are produced, stipe, stalk, the stem that supports the cap, ring, annulus, a circular structure around the stalk remains of a protective covering, volva, cup-like base found in some mushrooms from the universal veil. Internal structures seen under fold scope, microscope, hyphae, thread-like filaments that make up the mushroom body, spores, microscopic reproductive units formed in the gills. They may appear as powdery grains, basidia. Special spore producing cells present on gills. Mycelium, if observed from substrate, white cottony network of hyphae in the soil or decaying matter that gives rise to the fruiting body mushroom. Conclusion The mushroom is the fruiting body of a fungus. It reproduces by spores, and the main vegetative body is the mycelium hidden inside soil or organic matter. Next, interact with an entrepreneur and learn the steps for cultivation of mushroom. Answer. If you interact with a mushroom cultivator entrepreneur, these are the general steps you will learn. Steps in mushroom cultivation. First, selection of mushroom variety. Example, button mushroom, oyster mushroom or sheet tape. Second, preparation of substrate. Wheat straw, paddy straw, sawdust or compost is used. The substrate is cleaned and pasteurized, sterilized to kill unwanted microbes. Third, spawn inoculation. Spawn is like the seed of mushrooms, bits of mycelium grown on grains. It is mixed into the prepared substrate. Fourth, incubation stage. Bags or trays with inoculated substrate are kept in dark, humid conditions. Temperature approximately 22 to 28 degrees Celsius. Humidity 70 to 90 percent. Mycelium spreads through the substrate. Fifth, fruiting stage. After full colonization, bags, trays are shifted to cooler conditions with light and proper ventilation. Small pinheads, baby mushrooms appear and grow into fruiting bodies. Sixth, harvesting. Mushrooms are harvested carefully by hand before the caps fully open. 7. Packaging and Marketing Mushrooms are packed in ventilated trays, packets and sold fresh or dried. Key points from entrepreneurs Mushrooms require controlled environment, temperature, humidity, aeration, low cost, low cost but high profit if marketed well. Residual substrate can be used as organic manure for fields. So friends, we have completed all the question answers from chapter 2, The Invisible Living World Beyond Our Naked Eye.
we have already studied the short notes and summary of this chapter you can find the link in the description and on the screen if you like the video kindly like hype the video and share it with your friends also subscribe to my channel for more such videos we will meet in the next video thank you for watching